Hello guys, this is Alman Sheikh. I hope you saw my previous videos on Django Oscar. If not, please check the previous videos first because this video will be extended from the last video. Okay, let's start. In this video, we will learn how to customize the view of our e-commerce project. Assuming you want to use Oscar template in your project, there are two options. You don't have to do. You could write all your own templates if you like. Anyway, here are the two options for customizing. First is forking and another is subclass parent but use same template path. You use second method, subclass parent but use same template path. This is basically means you can have a base.html in your local templates folder. That extend Oscar base.html but only customize the blocks that it needs to. For this, you must know the Oscar template hierarchy. Go to the browser and search Django Oscar. Here is the github link. Click on it and take a clone from here. Copy it clone. Okay, I have already a clone in my system. I am going to open it in my text editor. SVL Django Oscar. Okay. There it is. Go to the source Oscar. This is the project hierarchy. Go to the template Oscar. There is all the templates you want. Okay, let's see the base.html. This is the Oscars by default base.html. Okay, this is your layout.html. This is your dashboard folder. This is your catalog folder. Here you are all the partials. Okay, let's start to customize our Oscar views. For this, go to the terminal. And just uh, in our terminal, activate our project. CD eShop source eShop eShop env being activated. SCBL dot here is our project Oscar provide a helper variable to make this easy let's see in our settings dot py control p settings dot py there it is the Oscar main template directory points to the directory above Oscar normal template directory this means that path to Oscar template can also be reached via templates path to Oscar template. Hence to customize base.html you can have an implementation like. Let's create base.html file into templates directory. First we have to create templates directory. Templates. In this templates directory we can create a new file called base.html let's start the server and see what changed after it go to the terminal Okay, go to this browser local at See, we can successfully override the base.html file. 
ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू डू समथिंग गो टू द जेंगो ऑस्कर प्रोजेक्ट ओपन द बेस डॉट एच टी एल फाइल कंट्रोल ऑल कॉपी इट गो टू द आर प्रोजेक्ट एंड पेस्ट इट कंट्रोल एस वट इज द ब्राउजर सी द चेंजेस नाउ वी ट्राई टू चेंज दिस लोगो ऑफ आर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर दिस we have to change the partial brand dot html just copy it go to our project in the template directory create a folder called partials in the in this partial folder we can create a file called font dot html save it paste the code go here just give a name of your shop i'll giving alban control s go to the browser and see the brand name is changed okay let's try to remove something from this view go to the django oscar layout.html we can remove this portion for this portion we have to write new account dot html into our partial dot html go to the new account dot html control a control c go to our project create a partial called new account dot html control s save Press the code. Control S. Go outside. Remove this block. Control S. Go to the browser. Just press the page. What happened? New accounts. Dot HTML. Okay. We name this file. Name accounts. Dot HTML. Save it. Go to the browser. Refresh it. See, this portion is removed. Okay, let's try to do something more. Let's change the color of this panel. For this, we have to write new primary dot html. Partial dot html. New primary. Copy this. go to our file create a partial called nav primary dot html so let's save it control a and to v save it let's check how to change this It's pretty good. Copy it. Go to nearby inverse style. Style the ground color. Copy and paste. the color is changed this means you can override this styles as well in this video we will learn how to add something 
that we can add this logo how to remove something we remove this how to change style of any content thank you so much for watching this video thank you